Christopher Judge, and I play Kratos. Working with Christopher Judge, who was the voice and also motion capture performer for Kratos, has been one of the best experiences I've had in my career. A lot of the motion that comes through in the cinematic, especially, really is just him uh, becoming Kratos. For me, the first time I inhabited the role of Kratos, I was in such splendid physical condition that I actually felt like Kratos. When I saw the rendering, I felt that I was him. I always think physically bigger. So I try to stand bigger. I try to stand wider. I try to stand more firmly. And every time he moves, I want it to have a sense of purpose that he's going to do something. Because Kratos, in my mind, doesn't ever do something by happenstance. There's always a definitive objective. So that would give purpose to his movements. Every direction that we give to our actors or animators is to always keep them consistent, to put themselves into that space of always being a warrior ready for battle. So at the beginning of God of War Ragnarok, Kratos is in a different stage than he was in the previous game. Of course, now he has accepted the passing of his wife. He's accepting his role as a father, but then now his son is seeking a lot more. So Kratos is coming to terms on how do I best raise Atreus and how do I guide him? We follow your every win. But you don't believe in any of it. And still I follow. Because all that matters is that you are safe. But that's not all that matters. Who's keeping you safe? Kratos realizing that he's part of something. He's part of, God forbid that I say it, a family. And I think that's a great moment for Kratos because I don't think he ever in his wildest dreams ever imagined that he'd be part of anything again. Protect our son. We are very interested in exploring what it's like to have a relationship with your own child. Even, you know, Chris Judge, him being a father as well, it's always something that comes up on stage, talking about our kids and talking about our relationships with our own families. Well, some of the things emotionally with Kratos are very readily accessible to me. Being a father, being willing to do whatever it takes to ensure that your children are safe. Kratos no longer pontificates to Atreus. He's no longer speaking to an audience that just listens. He is now having debates with rebuttals with a young man who possesses his own ideas, his own thoughts, what he perceives to be his own trajectory to get to where he needs to be. The hard part, I think, of Kratos' journey is him learning to listen. And that's what comes with having such black and white views of right and wrong. A lot of times you're not receptive to what someone is telling you about how they feel. And I think that was a huge part of Kratos' growth was him learning how to listen. Hey! Don't go forgetting this, what'll get you there. Another fun part about being on set is just seeing Chris Judge and Sonny Seljic just interact with each other. Almost like Kratos and Atreus interact in the game. They become buddies throughout the years and it's almost like father and son relationship is almost manifested on set the same way. I met Sonny when he was 10. So I've seen all the stages of his development. Now. In Ragnarok, he's a teenager, feeling himself, good-looking young kid, and he had ideas. Like, he actually was able to break down scenes and have his own ideas about them. And I remember the first time it happened, I just stood back like, wow, 
this is a whole different dude. Like this isn't, you know, that little kid that had a million distractions. This is a young man who is very intelligent, very thoughtful, because I had gone through it with my children. It was something that I had missed very much as a father, as a man, was seeing this evolution of a human being and seeing them growing into who they are going to be. That part of it for me was, was, was great. And it, it was just, it was really interesting to me to see that, not only between Kratos and Atreus, but between Sonny and I. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it do what is necessary, not because it is written. I'm so excited for people to be able to continue this journey called God of War Ragnarok. My youngest son, who is one of my harshest critics, said, Daddy, uh, I didn't want it to end. Well, neither did I. I uh, missed every day that I wasn't uh, with this collaboration of folks. So if you loved God of War 2018, uh, I truly hope that you have a chance to experience Ragnarok is going to blow your socks off. Truly.